हेलो फ्रेंड दिस इज संजय कुमार क्रिएटर ऑफ सेलेक्टर्स अब एंड टेस्ट केस स्टूडियो इफ यू आर न्यू टू द चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल सो यू डोंट मिस एनी अपकमिंग इनोवेटिव अपडेट्स ऑन सेलेक्टर्स अब टेस्ट केस स्टूडियो और एनी न्यू टूल फ्रॉम माय एंड ग्रेट सेलेक्टर्स अब फोर डॉट ओ इट्स एस रियली इनक्रेडिबल इनोवेशन एंड रिवोल्यूशनरी फीचर्स विच कैन सेव अज अमाउंट ऑफ टाइम फॉर यू एंड थिंग लाइक वट एवर यू कुड think that this could be possible can this be possible yes all those things has been made possible in selectors of 4.0 the very first thing the feature which you all always wanted for xpath that automatically generate the access based xpath that's the very first feature is coming in is now there in selectors of 4.0 another one is a smart maintenance feature now you can verify all the xpath from your script just in single sort you need not to like copy paste one by one you can verify all the xpath index base xpath now you will get the index base xpath as well you will get, get the jquery selector there will be ui configuration options you would be able to like configure the ui let's say there are like lots of selectors there you don't need all of them then you can customize them a lot more improvement has been done on xpath algorithm and other selectors and lot more improvements super lightweight selectors of 4. Dot is let me show you the first claims of selectors of 4.0 here just a uh, right click inspect open selector so as always and this is what the selectors of 4.0 is let me just zoom in i hope this is visible now let's go one by one here uh, this is the access based xpath button for access based xpath this is for smart maintenance this is for customize the ui and here you will see the index in jquery and a lot more improvement you will, when you will use it you will realize that so let's see the very first thing automatically how can we generate the access based xpath just click on here on this access button and now whichever two element like first element with respect to which you want to generate the xpath and then the next one for whom you want to generate so suppose we want to generate the xpath for certificate here with respect to test case studio so first we will inspect the test case studio and here it will show you that this blinking icon is showing you that inspect the uh, parent element with respect to which you want to generate the xpath and here you need not to do any like a specific thing it's very simple and very obvious that it's telling you that first inspect this use the normal inspector whatever you way you were inspecting so no hassle no uh, extra thing and then inspect the child one so now inspect the certificate for which we want to generate and here you can see that it has generated the xpath for the certificate with respect to test case studio suppose we want to generate the xpath for donate button here with respect to change log then first inspect the change log and then inspect the donate and here you will see that this xpath will come here so that like at any point of time you want to get this xpath that what xpath was the last one which we have generated so that you can of course get it so you don't miss anything so first we will inspect the change log and then we will inspect the donate to generate the xpath for donate so this is the xpath for donate button with respect to change log and any time you can just click on this and add it and verify that this is the xpath for this element or not and whenever you want to go back or something happened like you don't want to inspect uh, like anything happened and you feel that this is not uh, like you don't want to inspect this one you don't want to inspect this one uh, or let's say by mistake you have inspected the parent like here you inspected parent and you feel that no no i want to change the parent so what you can do you just click on this one and again click back and then you would be able to change your parent so this is very hassle free no uh, much effort required you can easily inspect the you can easily generate the access based xpath and i would uh, recommend that you uh, watch the detailed tutorial i have created separately for all the features one by one so that you can refer as well and here you can uh, see the tutorial icon so this you can refer any time the next feature smart man maintenance 
verify all the x path of a script in single sort so now you can verify all the x path of a script so suppose you have this script and here you like suppose your script got break for this element here so what you used to do today you used to copy this x path right copy this go back to selector sort let's say we are on default screen here you paste this x path and that's how you verify this one right but suppose and then suppose your script got failed for this element then you will copy this x path you go back here you paste this one okay this is working perfect then suppose your script got break here somewhere and you felt that look let me verify this one as well and then there you like so this way you are verifying one by one can we verify this complete whole script or selectors page in single sort yes you can do that just copy this complete page come here in selector sub there you have the button of this one you see that uh, tools icons will be there click to verify multiple x path click on this then there click to paste all the x path click on this and here you see that uh, pass x path command as input so just be aside that one for a second and here we will paste this complete script you need not to like paste uh, copy x path or paste that only no paste that complete script and here set the command you know that if you remember that command feature but let me tell you what is that command you need to pass pass this command whatever your x path has appended so whatever command is appended on your x path pass that command here replace that x path with the x path value keyword here and submit that's all required and this command will be saved so this is just one time first time effort from next time onward you will not have to do that so you see that when you click on submit off immediately it will fetch all the x path and so that occurrences of those x path here so for this set x path there is one matching node there is zero matching node so it is showing you all of them together and the like so easy and so quick you have we have verified all the x path and the complete script so remember that for whichever page you want to verify the x path so suppose like i wanted to verify this these selectors on this page so you open the page first that page for which you want to verify it should not be like you are trying to verify on google.com and then you feel that all the x path are showing zero zero so let me just show you here select to sir and click on a smart editor if you will try to verify here it will show of course all of them as a zero of zero let me just copy the complete script paste it here and submit it will show zero zero because those selectors are not from this page so remember like for whichever page you want to verify just open that page in the web browser and then paste that script so this is how you can verify all this x path you can copy all of them you can download this uh, download in excel as, as well so all those things you can do you can delete it here any particular one you want to copy or you want to add it that and verify that you can do it here like you want to add it and verify that you can do it here you want to just copy this one you can do that and if you want to go back to your home page like home screen you just click back to that one great so this is how you can verify like whole all the x path in single sort and in 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 fact like if you just have the x path suppose uh, let me just copy this one <clears throat> and suppose you have let's clear this suppose you have x paths only written somewhere and you just want to verify all the x paths so what you do turn it off this command one and just paste all the x path here let me just copy a few of the x path i guess just copy these x path and paste it here multiple x path suppose you have somewhere in your script that you can of course and then you can verify all the x path in single sort so this is how like whenever if you have to verify all the x path you just uh, paste all the x path and you can verify them click back go back index based x path many times like uh, there were challenges like many people want the smaller x path not the lengthy one so for an example like if i show you that uh, <clears throat> this one here 
there are in certain cases there are long x path has been generated by default let's say if we take this one svg1 so this x path is like little lengthy sometimes and people doesn't want like uh, to get the x path with respect to parent and child they just want to use the index based x path so in that case now select reserve will give you the index based x path as well so here you see that you got the index based x path which you can of course directly use it in your script you can just click on copy and use it in your script the next like one more example if i show you here like here on this page so it you should generate the like parent child combination and that becomes like too long long x path though i recommend always recommend use those kind of x path which has the stable attribute but yes it uh, it could be your personal choice for uh, multiple regions and requ uh, requirements so then in that case like you have the option now you got the index x path as well so if you want to use this one you can quickly use it and of course this is going to help many people because i knew like personally there were lots of users who need this index space x path so now it's here and this will solve many problems jquery selectors so now you will have the jquery selector as well so suppose in, if you are a developer and you need uh, like you don't want to write the like uh, jquery selector so quickly you can get the jquery selector from here which will be very robust and of course uh, unique so that you can use it and it will help a lot and it will save a lot of time like you will not have to go back here on console and you will not have to type this dollar and then uh, go back and see what could be the selector for this element so here you will get that directly and you can just click and copy and paste it here in console or wherever you want to use so this is going to be very helpful for the people those who are writing uh, like js based automation framework or or the js developers as well so this is going to help a lot jquery js path was already there then we have the ui configuration options as well now introducing this one so uh, many a times like what happened that uh, selectors have used to give all possible selectors for the element and there are like lots of ui elements here which are not really useful for everyone those who are uh, working uh, using selectors for their business and uh, like uh, on a daily basis they are uh, working and they are not they doesn't need this like they don't want this icon they don't want to see this icon uh, i mean of course like there could be people the, those those who uh, doesn't need this every day and they don't want to see unnecessary thing uh, there are people definitely that those who don't need absolute x path they, those who don't need tag name these all are really important really useful if you are uh, using selectors or for learning purpose and you want to learn that what all possible selectors could be there for this element so yes this is really required you can of course click on this and then you can see all of them are here expanded so these are like too much information for the one who just need the relative x path the one who just need the index x path so in that case like can we customize the ui yes and the, the one who doesn't want to see this thing these buttons here so yes now that you, we have the option that you just click on this customize ui the last one wheel icon and here you see that like let's say you don't need tag name you don't need absolute text path you don't need pass a link text you don't need, need link text we need name okay class id fine we you doesn't need let's say js path you can uncheck that you doesn't need jquery you don't need css selector uncheck that one you don't want to see this uh, left eye left toggle you turn it off you don't want to see right toggle you don't want to see this uh, case insensitive button you can just uncheck them and go back and see the magic this is so neat and clean ui for you it is very lightweight and uh, now next time onwards when you will open the ui it will open with your settings as well of course it you need not to uh, set the setting again and again so whichever selectors will be possible what you have chosen that will be that will appear here so now if you open again it will open with your settings and you will not have to like uh, see all those things again and again and it will be very smooth and very easy for you then uh, here we used to verify like whenever you verify your x path you used to get an uh, sh selector from the selector sub 
so basically this is the uh, css selector for your x path it used to suggest the unique css selector for your x path so this also like many people doesn't want to see whenever they are verifying we don't want they don't want to see this suggestion so what you can do now you can customize that as well you can just uncheck this and now whenever you will verify your x path or you will do something that will not interrupt you and if you don't need it you can keep it unchecked so this is how you can now customize the ui you can keep it simple you can design as per, uh, like as per your requirement it will be very easy and then there are like lot lot more improvements has been done in the background like xpath algorithm how does how this generates the xpath how it generates the css selector a lot more optimization has been done so this is going to be really helpful for you all and i'm sure like it will be very useful you will love all these selectors of 4.0 features and i'm going to create a detailed tutorial tutorial i have created a detailed tutorial with all the features so that link i will leave in the description please go through and watch that uh, link so that like when uh, there are like lot more amazing time saver features are there in selector sub which will help you a lot and uh, one last thing like whatever configuration you have done at any point of time you want to see uh, change it to default then you can click on this and it will go back to the default one so uh, and if you are new to the selector sub i would really really recommend you that please watch the detailed tutorial link in the description because there are a lot more feature like you can save the selector in the local in selector sub itself you can uh, if you don't want to see all all of them this thing you just want to use as, as an editor you can turn it off this is a smart editor you can you see that when you start typing you get the auto suggest if you do anything wrong it suggests you a lot more thing a lot more things are there it supports shadow rom it supports iframe like so i would highly recommend you that please watch the uh, detailed tutorial if you are new to the selector sub first time you are uh, seeing and using the selector sub it will save a lot of time it will give you a lot of information it will give it will help you to learn each and everything like this element is inside shadow rom if it will be svg it will tell you that this is svg it is inside shadow rom like this is svg element this element is inside shadow rom so all those things it will help you a lot to learn if it is if any element is inside iframe it gives you the iframe x path it gives you the shadow rom uh, it gives you the shadow rom scripts complete thing it gives you so saves a lot more time for you like if you element will be inside iframe it will tell you that inside iframe iframe x path if it will be there will be nested iframe it will also tell that that this is inside nested iframe so all those things you see that all the iframe x path and everything you will get it here so this is going to really help you a lot you can generate the command as well you can generate the uh, like attribute filters are there so all those options multiple selectors are there like you can generate the x path for multiple elements here so all those things i will highly recommend you guys please check you can use the debugger to inspect the dynamic element amazing features are there so check it out the detailed tutorial i'm sure it will help you a lot so yeah these are the 4.0 new features please do let me know which one you loved most and which one you are going to use on a daily basis in your work please like share and subscribe to the channel and keep supporting keep sharing selectors of 4.0 selectors of test case studio if you haven't explored the test case studio please check it out if you haven't taken the certificate please take the certificate from here this is absolutely free and it is going to help you a lot to learn a lot more concepts myths about dev tools selectors of xpath so please do take this certificate check out test case studio keep supporting guys keep sharing and if you feel that this is helping a lot uh consider a small donation to selectors of be a patron and support you can buy me a coffee you can be a patron and whichever way you want to support you can support so yeah with that thank you thank you so much keep learning keep sharing thank you